According to you, what are the lessons to be learned from the pandemic when it comes to health crisis management uh, in the EU? We need to strengthen the competencies of the EU to act in times of crisis management, like uh, people went to the supermarket and bought spaghetti and toilet paper uh, just to be on the safe side, side if something happened. Member states did exactly the same thing at their level. We really have to invest again in, in healthcare and strengthen the public uh, sector as a whole because that's the one that will lead to resilience if there really is a, a crisis, if we really want to be prepared for another outbreak or second waves and so on. And healthcare providers, for instance, are the ones that we have been applauding every evening at eight o'clock in many uh, countries, um, but we have been cutting the budgets in the healthcare sector for many, many years. What's the Commission's uh, initial evaluation regarding this pandemic? Uh, generally, I would like to highlight that the Commission has reacted to this health crisis, not only in the health area, but obviously also in the area of economy and border and mobility. Uh, research. Um, there are also several initiatives on fighting disinformation and um, you may uh, be familiar already with the exit strategy that it was proposed. With the ongoing crisis we have been seeing more and more European solidarity. So countries have been donating materials to each other, countries have been accepting patients from each other, and that is also a lesson learned, this cross-country um, health system, how that can be improved in uh, the crisis situations. If your house burns down and you have to rebuild it, you will not rebuild it with the materials and the methods of 30 years ago. You will rebuild it with, you know, the eye to the future in a sustainable way and with renewable and new materials and so on. We have to keep repeating it and also telling it to our voters why this is so important.